Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel Cyrus Christians and I trust God you all are doing great. If you're new to my channel, you're very warm and welcome. Keep on going here so you can get any other projects. Just go ahead and subscribe so you can get all the further updates related with this channel. If you're already a regular subscriber, I'm sure you already enjoyed all the wonderful projects over here. Today I'm here with another sewing project. As you can see, we have this gorgeous bride made dress in front of us. Today we are going to do hem this beautiful velvet dress. As you can see, I'm also wearing a velvet dress. I love velvet fabric in the winter times. They are just so royal and so comfy to wear. Working with the velvet fabric could be a little bit challenging, but following the tips and techniques and step-by-step -step directions could help you. So let's go ahead and start it out with the project. So for making a hem on our velvet fabric, first you have to measure how much you have to cut the fabric and how much wide hemming you needed. So as you can see, I already have started making two lines. One will be for my cutting and other one is for folding hem. So I'm, I'm doing um, one full inch distance two lines. So my fold will be one full inch. I'm going to make a double fold, which will be quarter inch and quarter inch. You know. So that's the basic all right before cutting or marking any fabric first you should wear your dress if you are trying for a, a client you must first measure all the measurements she should be wearing first dress measure the full length write down that length that will be your bottom line and then added extra fabric into that you want a half inch you want a full inch you want a one and a half inch it's depending what kind of fold or hemming you want on that dress okay so we can't gonna gonna make a two lines and then i will show you the cutting part So I have two lines here, one is 5 inch, another one is 4 inch. We have to take in for hemming 5 inches. So I'm going to cut 4 inches and one full inch we will be folding for hemming. So let's start cutting and for this you need a sharp new scissor so you can cut fabric correctly. If you see this stuff, this is all came from this cutting we did here. If I shake more here, it's keep coming. So you have to make sure when you're cutting the velvet fabric around, you have a, you know, the different covering. So once you are done with your project, you can easily clean up and other tip you sh that stuff shouldn't be go inside of your machine. If this goes inside of your machine, you're gonna damage it you know so you have to be careful when you're cutting the velvet fabric so for this hemming we need a double stitch as you can see our previous hemming have a two stitches on a quarter inch distance and this is a half distance okay so we going to do exactly same double stitch quarter inch distance and half inch distance on a bottom but for that 
simple trick I'm going to use simply first going to pin up my fabric and then I will be steam iron on a top to press down so my fabric will be good to sew and I don't know if you can see but I have my one inch fold distance mark here Just simply what I'm going to do fold my fabric just go ahead and pin up the full hemming all around your bottom and then we will head to our iron and before heading to our sewing machine first we will give a test try sewing on this fabric in that way we can learn our fabric it's a stretchy fabric you can see it that's why we have to do this project very carefully I will try a couple stitches and I will see how it's work out okay so first i am going to give it tried and if i see here these stitches are not too long so we will keep like a auto setting of our machine and start going to stitch all right let's go ahead and give some tries I'm going to use a cotton piece on the top just to give item press. Steam, press. Okay, we are going to do all around our hem area and then this will be ready to sew. Next step we are going to do, we have already tried on our stitches, length and everything and now i'm going to show you easiest step which is going to help you for protection of our velvet fabric and also our sewing machine because we don't want the stuff goes inside of our machine as i show you earlier when we cut the fabric stuff coming off from this velvet i'm going to use the wax papers on the bottom and on the top and that gonna help us to have a very smooth and easy stitches without having any you know hard time the fabric move in your uh, sewing machine and this technique work with all kind of uh, fabrics with the um, sequins and the uh, knit stretchy fabric any kind of fabric okay so simply I'm just going to Place this edge to edge on the bottom and on top as well. I'm going to remove pin. Just make sure there's no bulkiness in the fabric. And if you don't have a wax paper, you can give it a try with the newspaper. That also works. show you here how you're gonna tear apart it's strange how my camera is 
focusing. See that? And our front. Just going to carefully remove all that paper. I know that just little time consuming but that will be so stress free rather than trying over and over again you know you can easily just hem your dress even you're a beginner okay see that how nicely we have stitch here we're gonna continually keep stitching and once we have a one stitch for finish then we will do second stitch on a quarter inch distance and then I will show you the rest after. Thank you so much for watching our today's sewing project. As you can see, we have created this gorgeous dress hem very professionally. And I hope our today tips and techniques have a help in your sewing skills. If you really get inspired by our today's sewing project, please give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe and share with your family and friends so many people can learn about sewing, cooking and your projects. I love you all. God bless you all. Be safe wherever you are and have a lovely, fabulous day. Bye-bye.